I really wish I had enlisted and gone to war. That way, if I survived and came home, the joy on the faces of my friends and family would have given me as a black male an acceptable excuse to cry. Mm. Cry tears that defy the gravity of masculine expectations and ignore the endless diatribe of real men should never do this. The tears that never fell at my father's funeral, nor his father's or his mother's. The ones that violate the codes of the streets. They are admissible in the court of man law as concrete evidence of my inner bitch, I am guilty. Of failing to suck it up and take it like a man. Openly admitting that at times of high stress, I can be more young and restless than ESPN. More sex in the city than Sports Center, hell. More Tyler Perry than Spike Lee. They say what's done in the dark will be brought to the light. This is why I don't do mornings. Too many sunbeams and mirrors exposing the fact that tattoos, no matter how rugged, are nothing but articulate scars. But there I go fronting again. I don't have any, but if I did, <laughs> I would get a tattoo of a heart over my heart and invite all of you guys to watch. That way, as the needle takes its final plunge into my skin, I can say in that moment, I was brave enough to let at least one of my hearts bleed publicly without shame. Yes. And I was gonna like lighten the mood with the second piece, but I'm not. <laughs> in this time of heartbreaks, hate crimes, and hashtags, all I have to cling to for the future it's hope. Hope that the name on my unborn son's birth certificate does not read Dead Man Walking. Mm -hmm. That his first steps will not be to take his place in the lineup of usual suspects. And that his first words won't be, stop, I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. Hope lost is a dream deferred. A message yelled at me from the pulpit in all of its Sunday morning glory. But how can I hope to dream when hope itself has become a four-letter word that's closer to hide than it is to seek. Amen. Closer to sick than it is to cure, and closer to fall than it is to rise. Mm -hmm. But still, I have hope. Hope that a convenience store run for candy in the bag won't conveniently give probable cause to put my son's lifeless body into a bag with his toes tied. Mm -hmm. Hope that he gets called to the stage for diplomas and degrees not caught up to the judge begging mercy for a plea, hope. Hope that wearing a hoodie outside of his hood won't make him a target of white men wearing hoods. Hope he stands tall for all he believes in and exceeds all expectations. Not be laid out flat as I'm called to ID his bullet riddled body down at the police station. Then again, how can I possibly have hope when the very definition is a unicorn behind an electrified fence that keeps buzzing louder and more insistent with the current of hate. But then again, this madness has to stop, eventually. They have to learn to respect us as equals, eventually. They have to realize these public executions are crimes against the fabric of humanity, eventually, 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 at least, I hope. Yeah.